need to know more about you. My name is not Kit. Shut up! How old are you? I'm seven and a half. Oh, look at you. You think you're such a big shot because you're seven and a half. Kid, you're still seven. I'm seven and a half. You're seven. I'm seven and a half. The half year makes absolutely no difference. It does too make a difference. I don't need this. Guess what? Santa's getting me a pony for Christmas. Aww. Sweetie, Santa isn't real. Yes, he is. Who told you that? My mommy and daddy told me. Did they also tell you that babies come from storks? Wait, that's not where they come from? No. Besides, why did you want a pony? I like ponies. But asking for a pony isn't even realistic. If Santa tried to get it down the chimney, it'd probably break its bones because of how heavy it is. Why didn't you ask for something light, like an iPhone? Will you read a story to me? Sure, I have one you might like. His trident goes whizzing over my head and there's a sickening sound of impact as it finds its target. The man from District 5, the drunk who threw up on the sword fighting floor, sinks to his knees as Finnick frees the trident from his chest. Oh, quit crying. We haven't even watched the movie yet. Can I have some chicken nuggets? Sure. Will you cook them for me? Do I look like your personal chef? That's not how it works, honey boo boo. I'm not getting paid to cook you food. I'm getting paid to make sure you don't get severely injured or die. So you'll have to figure out how to cook the chicken nuggets yourself. But I don't know how to. You are seven years old. Seven and a half. It makes no difference. Either you cook the chicken nuggets yourself or you'll have to starve. But you can't let me starve. I just can't let you die. I can let you starve. I really hate you. You're already not getting your chicken nuggets. Do you want to lose another privilege? What? You are going to stand in this closet until you figure out a way to make your own chicken nuggets. But it's dark in here and I'm scared. Quit your whining. What am I going to do in here? You are going to face that wall and think about the chicken nuggets you want so badly. This is abuse. Please, you don't even know what that word means. Did you find out a way to make chicken nuggets? No. Then go back in the closet. But I don't want chicken nuggets anymore. Then what do you want? Ice cream. Okay. Make the most of that, because that's all you get. I want more. Shut up. Eat the dang ice cream. You are lucky that I didn't punish you for leaving that closet. You're crazy. You think I'm crazy? I'll show you crazy. You haven't even seen crazy yet. If you don't eat that dang ice cream that I spent an entire minute of my life scooping out for you, then I will physically throw you right back into that closet. Kid, did you finish my laundry? Kid? Kid? Where are you? Kid? Kid? Not in there? What do you think you're doing? Are you trying to escape? Not on my watch. That's it. Go back to the closet. But I was Come just on. looking for no. Snivy. I don't care. Who's Snivy? My best friend. You don't have any best friends, okay? You're a loser. 
Okay, your parents are gonna be here in 10 minutes, so if you want ice cream, you tell them that Clayton is the best babysitter you've ever had and that he should get paid double. Capiche? No, you're not the best babysitter I've ever had. Do you want ice cream or not? Yes, I want ice cream. Then you tell them I'm the best dang babysitter you've ever had. Okay. Oh my gosh, stop crying. What are you, three? I'm seven and a half. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs>